Hello again, I am Blunty. Behind me right here is a super top secret location. Okay, it's not so top secret. It's Fox Studios, and here I am at stage three, about to do something very, very exciting. I'm here for a Wolverine stunt school. The Wolverine Stunt School was being run to mark the release of X-Men Origins Wolverine on Blu-ray and DVD on October the 14th. How could I possibly say no to being asked to learn how to be a superhero stuntman for a day? And then I'm going to strap me into an uncomfortable harness which will probably damage my man bits forever and ever more. But it's going to be worth it because I finally get to live out every geek's dream of being a stuntman in a superhero movie. The first order of the day was for this bloke, Bob Bowles, who was the stunt supervisor on X-Men Origins Wolverine, to run us through the stunts we were going to be performing, and how they were all rigged up, and reassure the nervous-looking journalists around me that they were going to be just fine. But before it was my turn to be lashed into the bondage of a stunt harness and thrown around like a sexually submissive ragdoll, I had a chance to check out a very special motorbike, a reproduction of the 56 Panhead that Wolverine rode in the movie. But this one was based on the 2009 model, and some movie branding on it too, which I don't think I saw an old Wolvie's bike in the flick. This beastie has a 1,600cc engine, that's 96 cubic inch if you're a yank, and when asked how fast I could go on it, I'm sure the answer was purely theoretical, seeing it was pretty much double the speed limit of most open roads. 200. I'm not saying you'd want to do it. No. If and this bike, like all good Harleys, has a sound that you'll feel in your very bones and forces an irrepressible madman's grin to crawl across your face. <laughs> After carefully avoiding damaging what was a very expensive ride, it was time to put my somewhat less valuable bodywork into a stunt harness. Well, it, it, it's, yeah. Yeah, it's just more... Um, it's like a SWAT jacket or the buckle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tactical ops. This one's black, so white one up there looks sticky. Yeah, it, uh, believe it or not though, they're, they're, the, uh, they're the good harnesses, the white ones. Don't they use words like good and bad harnesses? No, meaning that they've got... Um, they were designed for um, for Spider-Man. Oh. oh, you know, these are more comfortable and they're all rated, they're all strong, but they were designed to go under that skin-tight suit. There's less less stretch in them, which means that they're very uncomfortable. I'd rather win it is any day. It's just, you, know, you have to be sort of comfortable with your heterosexuality at this point. <laughs> well, well or, <laughs> or, or really enjoy it. <laughs> How to lose weight the stuntman way. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, Mate, you got a bit of the Robert Downey Jr. today. I get that a lot. He, 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 I get that a lot. Robert Downey Jr. Junior. 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 It's the eyes. Okay, so, so um, tell me about this rig. How does it all work? Okay, basically, we've got a ram and we've got compressed nitrogen. We set it to a certain pressure and uh, basically just press the button. We've got high pressure solenoids that just, yeah, burst through the, uh, the pressure and that results okay, so in the, the ram just, back, just sucks in. Oh, sucks in. Okay. Yeah, sucks in really quickly and just hurls you back. Have we done the math on how many G-forces or anything? But... Yeah, you know, anywhere from two Gs to kind of four or five. It, well, even more sometimes. And uh, yeah, no, this, this simulates in the casino where where Hugh gets hit with a with a card by Gambit. Right. Yeah, it, it was a it was a tough gag to kind of set up, yeah. and yeah, we rehearsed it quite a lot. And, until we nailed it, yeah. So it was, it was pretty good. So I'm gonna, up. yeah, I'm gonna quickly get you a, a helmet while I'm doing that. But the doom. Yeah, sorry, kiddo. <laughs> it's it's uh, the prerequisite. Gotta ruin the doom. Ruin the doom. Things I do. Oh no. Gathering all of my courage and manliness, I put aside my distress at messing up my clearly, carefully crafted hairstyle with an exceptionally daggy helmet and pretended to listen carefully as I was given some last minute instructions. <laughs> and that's what this is, so you're, you're good to go. Set, set, on, go. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> How did that feel? That's awesome. Okay, so do you want to do one more and I ramp it up a bit more? Let's go, let's okay, go. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. <laughs> I love it! <laughs> well done, kiddo. 
I was having such a blast with my first ever stunt work, I couldn't help but ask to go again, but with even more power. This time though, I wanted to be punched. Yeah. Okay, and so... Uh, this is... this is... Well, Craig. Craig, how are you? <laughs> he's, gonna, he's gonna punch me. Give him a bit of a hit. Yeah, okay. How do you, how do you want to do it? This is what I, everyone wants to do. Just, <laughs> uh, yeah, give, give him give right him a, the nose. Give, give him a nice, nice chest punch. Um, yeah. yeah, and then so oh, what I'll do is I'll just anyway. we'll go go with the timing. Yeah. Yeah. So it'll be three, two, one, go. That's it. Go. <laughs> Splendid. How did that look? Fuzzy there. Next up was possibly the most daunting of all the stunts that day, the Descender Drop. So, your name is? Brett. Brett? Okay, I'm next. What are we doing here? Ready to go. So this is, is a decelerator rig. Yep. So basically, you'll have a line on you, you'll step off, and you'll free fall half of it. And then we've got a decelerator machine here that'll pull you up and slowly decelerate you to the ground. So this is a, an air ram sort of system? It's an air ram, so basically it'll pull out and we've got the valves set. And, and it's the air pressure that's going to slow you down. Right, so, okay, okay. Yep. How, how high is that? That's what? So we're at 10 metres now. Yeah. yeah, it looks a lot higher when you're up there. That's, yeah, but that's it's, a, it's a good, like, you, you'll free fall, so it'll feel, you just, it's like you're just jumping off, and then it'll just pull you up. It's like bungee without the spring. Without the spring, exactly. Awesome. Let's Ready to go? Let's do it. Against all Step natural in. impulses, I climbed the two flights of stairs to the platform, 32 feet from the very solid concrete soundstage floor and the relatively small green X that marked where I'd need to land if if I preferred my knees where they were, safely outside my own mouth. So here we go, heading up the stairs. Gonna do the free fall jump, the deceleration. Man, the adrenaline going like you wouldn't believe. This is gonna be sweet. And three, two, one, go. No! <laughs> As the more observant among you out there may have noticed, I quite enjoyed that. That's a rush. <sighs> oh, Isn't that a rush? That's unreal. The scared you are, the bigger the rush. <laughs> <laughs> I was up there, I had the adrenaline going, mate, I was like... You, mate, you get back up there and you have the sun film again, I don't <laughs> want to do this, I don't want to do it, but then you do it. Yeah, man. Man, well done, takes a brave man to do that. I don't think and purely for scientific purposes, I had to go again, just to see if the rush was just as big the second time. Oh man. <sighs> I'm still coming down from that first jump. Yeah, man. <laughs> Makes you feel alive. Bloody, I've done that. On go, and three, two, one, go. <laughs> <laughs> God damn, I love that! The answer is yes. Still fun. That was awesome. <laughs> well done. Thank you very much. I'm so pumped. Still. I was pretty pepped up by that point. My brain was releasing all kinds of feel-good chemicals. See if you can tell. On my way to the third and final stunt setup for the day, my helpful camera girl seemed <laughs> a bit distracted. Hey! How are you going? Mr. Brave Man! Oh, we yeah, are very yeah. impressed, sir. That, we are very like impressed. Man, that was awesome. Yes, yeah, yeah, no, good. mate, we are very impressed. You've, uh... Did you yeah. scream much? Oh, it was a very manly roar. Oh, oh manly mate, roar, okay. It wasn't a scream, it was a roar. Dude, mate, we usually go, oh, mama! <laughs> <laughs> no, you did well, mate. We're, anyone that was, is willing to jump off there yeah, has I mean, got our respect and admiration. Tell me about this rig, what have you been doing? This one is the Gambit rig, um, which is basically used in the movie to fly off the roof and land in the street just before the fight scene ensues. Cool. And uh, it's a long flight. It's long. I suspected that the rush from this stunt wouldn't quite be as intense as the last one, but this type of flying leap stunt harness is exactly what I'd always wanted to have a go at. A superhuman rooftop leap. That machine did work. And... Three, two, one. <laughs> and it was every bit as fun as I'd always hoped. Okay, Nick. That's a fun feeling. Oh, that's a fun feeling. I'd mentioned feeling like a certain 
red caped super guy, but that seems a bit weird seeing as this is all about a Marvel Comics character and uh, old red cape, he's DC. But you know what I mean. What's the, what's the breaking strength on these ropes? These? Four ton. Wow. Yep. Each. So you got two of them on them. Four ton on that tiny rope. Yeah. yeah. It's some um, Dyneema or Dynex. And it's Are used these... in the fishing industry. Okay, so not specifically made for, for stunts. No. Just... Well, nothing is. Yeah. Well, you figure by now it's something good. I mean, yeah, I mean these are bolting shackles and how they're rated and everything. With my dream of being a superhero stuntman finally complete, I was awarded a certificate and was set loose upon the city of Sydney with every muscle, nerve and bone in my body buzzing with adrenaline and an endorphin coated droigasm that lasted for well over an hour after stripping off the stunt harness. So thank you very much to the people at Fox for the wonderful invite, I had a blast. And to you guys, keep an eye out for a Wolverine based competition coming really soon. You will not believe the prizes I've managed to score. It's insane, seriously. You're gonna love it. Catch you next time. Oh. It was coming. <laughs>